in their boxes And the clowns have all gone to bed You can hear happiness Staggering on down the street Today I want to look at The Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix on three string cigar box guitar. So first of all the tuning, I'm tuned to a G, so it's just G, D, G. So the first bit I want to look at is the intro and it's just the... playing the 7th, 8th and ninth frets but I'm sliding into each one from a fret below so the first bit is just playing the lower two strings so that's the G and the D and I'm sliding from 6 up to 7 and then from 7 up to 8 and then from 8 up to 9 so it's just and then I'm going to follow that by playing the top higher string, so that's the D and the high G, and I'm going to do the same again. So slide up from 6 to 7, 7 to 8, and then 8 to 9. And you can play with a plectrum or your fingers, but make sure you play both of those strings at the same time. So the whole thing is... So I'm also damping the strings at the end there just to play that so it goes and that's the intro basically it plays it a couple of times so it goes and then it does a little phrase using some double stops which we looked at in little wing and basically it just means playing two strings at the same time so um, to introduce the first verse uh, and subsequent verses it does a little lick something along the lines of and that's just hammering on from uh, uh, where, where are we nine to eleven so I'm playing nine on the middle string hammering on to the 11th fret and then 9 on the top string and then hammer on to 11 again so and then off but we're playing it with both strings at the same time so it, it comes across something like this and then slide down so to introduce the verse we're going to go and then on to the verse the verse consists of a B an A and an E first of all so I'm first of all playing the B at the fourth fret just barring across all three strings there and then I'm playing the A 
second fret barred across all three and then the E I'm playing in this position which is four two one that's an E major so we go B A E and then there's a little embellishment where it's you can uh, hammer on from the open strings to the um, first fret on the high G and second fret on the D string. So, so you can do you can do both of them or one of each. Just adds a little emphasis. So we're going. To, The first two lines, so it's um, after all the jacks in their boxes, and the clowns have all gone to bed. And then it does a thing where it slides from the B and it uses a passing note, which is this um, A sharp here or B flat. So it goes B slides down to the A, so it's going, so it goes, you can hear heaviness staggering on down the street, just to our E then, then we're going to change the chord and we're going to play an F sharp, which I'm playing at the 6th, 4th, 6th fret, in that position there, you can play it with those fingers, I like to play it with those, Then it plays um, nine seven nine, so that's uh, an A. So it goes F sharp A, and then it does the same as our intro, but just the first half of the phrase. So it goes F sharp A, and then back to the uh, F sharp again. second half of the intro. All of the verses are played more or less the same. You can, you can mix up your embellishments a little bit so you know the little bits where you hammer on or you can... For the guitar solo, the chords change, and instead of playing the B A E that we do with the verse, it plays um, E, then a D. So I'm playing those. I'm playing my E this time around at the ninth fret, and then I'm going to play a D at the seventh fret. Then I'm going to play an A at the second fret, and then a G open. And it plays that three times, so it, it plays the E, E, G. And then we play an F sharp in the same position as the verse, so that's six, four, six. strings barred at the fifth fret for the C and then it does two bars on the E again so we're back up to the ninth fret barred across all three for the E and then we're back into the verse solo follows the chord progression and the first few phrases start off with and then they just play a variation on that bit so I'm playing at the um, 13th and 14th fret there and just sliding that down and then I'm going to the 9th and 11th 
and I'm hammering on playing some double stops so basically I'm going to go but play them as double stops so that's nine and eleven on both strings the top two strings there. and then it slides from nine to eleven same strings same notes so slide, hammer, and then just play the ninth fret on the high G string with a bit of vibrato. And the next two phrases are just variations on that. So. so hammer on, you're finishing on that 11th fret on the middle string there. on the 11th fret on the top G string so there's your first three phrases then it moves up as the chord changes to that F sharp um, we're moving up to the F sharp major pentatonic which um, if you're interested you know fine if not well basically just play the move everything up two frets so play something similar And then we're going down to an A major and it just does a couple of notes on the A and I just play something like so that's just two four two four two so we're just playing that box shape for pretty much everything really then it changes to a C this time, it you know again, if you're interested in the theory, it goes to a C minor pentatonic. So just whatever you want to play for that. And finally, we go back to the uh, E major, and it's just again some of those double stops. finishes um, the guitar solo with something along the lines of and I'm just playing uh, fourth onto the sixth uh, and then one two so I've got high G string at one middle string at two and I'm just So that was The Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix, adapted for three string cigar box guitar. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, suggestions, etc., please put them in the comments below. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.